Hi, my name is Graham Stephan. I'm 29 years old. I'm a real estate agent, investor, and YouTuber living in Los Angeles, making 1.6 million per year. I have zero dollars in credit card debt, zero dollars in student loans, 1.8 million in savings, and just over $4 million in real estate investments. So I spent $585,000 on this duplex, and then I spent another $80,000 remodeling it. My mortgage is just over $2,800 a month and my utilities are about $110 a month. Well, I chose to buy and live in a duplex because I really wanted to save the extra money and at least have some other rental income coming in to subsidize my cost of living. And this place took me about six months to find, but when it came on the market, it was a really good deal and I knew I could rent out the other unit to basically pay for my mortgage and most of my property taxes. And that way that would allow me to essentially live here completely rent or mortgage free. So growing up, my parents did not have any sort of abundance of money or anything like that. And I definitely saw how hard they worked. And a lot of times it really was paycheck to paycheck. So I think seeing that really forced me to go in almost an extreme in terms of saving and investing and really making that a priority so I would never have to worry about money. Even as a young kid, I would always just be obsessed about saving everything I could get. And even from birthdays and Christmases, have an envelope with just all my like $20 bills in there. And I'd get really excited when it would hit like $100. I actually got more enjoyment, I think, from saving than I did from spending. So I became a millionaire by working as a real estate agent. Originally, I had planned to go to college, but when I didn't get into college, I was basically screwed. I had really bad grades in high school, and I figured I needed to do something and get some work experience for a year before I reapply to colleges. I got my real estate license. I ended up really loving the career, and then after I sold my first house, I was just like, I'm never going to college after this. So I've chosen to focus really on the luxury high-end market here in Los Angeles. I would say my average price point is somewhere between two and three million dollars, but the most expensive home I've sold is about seven million. So my YouTube channel is just my name, it's Graham Stephan, and it's mostly about personal finance and investing and how to invest in real estate. My YouTube income varies month to month, but usually it's anywhere between 150,000 a month and $250,000 a month. Welcome to my living room. For the most part, this is really decorative. I don't spend a lot of time in here if I have any friends over. None of us are really hanging out in this room. It's mainly meant for just like looking aesthetically kind of nice. This over here is my couch that doesn't really get used that often. These were the pillows that actually came with the couch. I don't like them at all. Looks a little too patriotic, red, white, and blue, but you know what? They're here. Again, we never really use it that much. So these two chairs I originally found on Wayfair, but then what I did to save money is I did a reverse image search on Google and I found the exact same chairs from another company for half the cost. So in terms of furnishing my place, I was able to get the majority of it at wholesale cost. So it really only cost me about 30% of what it would if I bought it at retail. The other thing I found is that you could shop online and usually find the exact same item and product somewhere else for a lot cheaper. A lot of furniture is sold via drop shipping so that people mark up the cost and they make a lot of profit from it. But if you just do a reverse image search on Google of the item you wanna get, almost always you could find it somewhere else for significantly cheaper. And that's what I've done if I didn't get it at wholesale. This was actually given to me by a subscriber. Russ, what's up, man? Your Lamborghini is right there that you ended up sending me. But I do end up getting sent some things from subscribers. They'll find out my work address and then send me things like a lot of letters or sometimes gift cards to Starbucks is a popular one or also Subway. And then, of course, without further ado, you have probably my most prized possession. This is an autographed picture from Keenan and Kel. This is certainly one of a kind. I've had this for such a long time. This is another thing I found at some antique store. I think it's some sort of like replica ray gun. Someone's gonna comment down below and tell me what this is a replica from, but my inner child came out when I saw this and I was like, you, got, you gotta get this. This is just too cool not to buy. So up here you have my three YouTube subscriber play buttons. The gold one is for hitting a million and then the two silver ones are for hitting 100,000. Then I have a candle here, and a few people may have seen my video with Molly, who also did a money tour is here on the channel in Glamour. Over here, we have our mahogany teakwood candle. It's my favorite. We probably go through one a week. It's kind of bad. She was spending way too much. She was spending like $30 a week on candles, but I was telling her, you can get candles for a few dollars each at Ross. You have no idea how expensive they are, and I think this was like three bucks, but it looks like it could be a $15 or $20 candle. It's a great way to save a lot of money. 
This is something I actually did myself with a friend. A contractor wanted like $600 to go and redo this because Spanish tile is, believe it or not, really expensive, but I found a place that ships directly from Mexico and this was $2 a tile, so I got it shipped, did the whole thing for really under about $160. This is my dining room, and the dining room table is something that I never actually use for eating. I mostly just use it for editing videos really late at night. For some reason, this is my favorite spot just to sit there and edit. The chairs are something that I absolutely hate them. I was looking through a catalog when picking out the furniture, and I thought these were meant to match this set. It doesn't match. These look like grandma chairs, but I hope that nobody notices, so I just push them in and just leave it. These are things that I bought from Ross. I like fish, but I didn't buy it specifically for the fish. I thought it was just too good of a price not to get. So over here you have my bar, and this is something I never really use. This is just visually looks kind of cool and fills the space. I almost never drink. This is Diet Coke mixed with water. It's not actually Jim Beam honey. <laughs> Same with this. You would have no idea that this is not Jack Daniels. Instead, it's just Diet Coke and water. And you find the right mixture, and it looks exactly like Jack Daniels. All of this is really just for decoration, and I want to make it seem like I have a fully stocked bar when in actuality I have a stocked bar full of watered down Diet Coke and, uh, and water. And by the way, proof it's just water. So this is my kitchen. I remodeled it about two and a half years ago. There used to be a big wall up here that I decided to take down, open up, so now it brings in a lot more natural light. I got the quartz countertops here, which are horrible to keep clean. I thought it would be a really good idea to have white countertops, and then I realized that anything you put on them is gonna leave a bit of a mark. So I spend way too much time trying to keep these clean. So a lot that I have in my kitchen isn't really that functional, but I think it looks kind of cool. Like a lot of this I've made to look really just aesthetically pleasing with things that I've kind of got for free like this a seller was moving out and they were throwing it away so I'm gonna put it in my kitchen and same with some of these other things in here admittedly I don't really have that much in here because I don't really cook that often so I have a basic set of plates that I got off Amazon I prefer actually to use some of the paper plates so I don't have to do any dishes and then I keep these sitting here just because they look kind of good and it makes it look like I have some stuff in the uh, cupboards and then of course, we always gotta rep the merch. This is one of the slogans I have and you can find it exclusively at gramstephanstore.com. So I got some other stuff over here that kind of fills the space a little bit, some olive oil, marinara sauces, pasta. And then this is something I actually found at Ross. I saw this on sale for like five bucks. Thought, you know, it would kind of go here. It looks pretty beachy and fits nicely in this space. And then most importantly, I have my Mr. Coffee coffee maker. Not sponsored, of course, but I, I do really like Mr. Coffee. So this whole coffee thing really became another little bit on my channel because I never go out and buy coffee because I could just make it at home for 20 cents and that's just what I've always done just to save the extra money. So underneath you have my trash can here and one of the cool things I do to save money is I reuse the old grocery bags and I actually save a lot of money on doing this. I don't buy garbage bags. Just put this over and uh, look, it's pretty much the same thing and you don't need to buy any garbage bags. So I don't really do that much cooking, but I will make breakfast every single morning. I religiously eat the exact same thing. It's two eggs, cheese, ham, and then sometimes if I'm feeling really adventurous, I'll have half a bagel. With coffee, of course. I spend about $200 a month on groceries and another $150 a month eating out. I also like to look for happy hours. If you're gonna go out to eat, you may as well just go and find that two hour window where things are gonna be half price and just eat as much as you can then and that's gonna usually save you about like 30 to 50% in your food bill. Happy hour sushi or all you can eat sushi is the one thing that I just, I, I love it. Anytime I can go and eat sushi or find all you can eat sushi, I will find an excuse to do it. Normally this is about $1,200, but I waited for a Labor Day sale and got both of these for 800. Welcome to my bedroom, the bed frame I got years ago from Ikea. The mattress was given to me for free by Casper. I represented them as a company many years ago as a real estate agent, and they gave me a free mattress when I found them a house, which is pretty cool. This is my Nicolas Cage pillowcase. A subscriber sent this to me. I joked about it in one of my videos, and uh, now I own one. I never thought I would say this, but I sleep on Nicolas Cage every single night, and I will see you in your dreams. So this is the only TV in my house. I really don't watch that much TV, so I don't have one in the living room, but every now and then if I wanna watch Netflix or YouTube, 
can turn this on here. I, again, I really don't watch that much TV. Then over here, I have my YouTube subscriber play button. This was given to me as a gift during one of the speaking engagements I went to. So I set it up, I hooked it up here, and it keeps track of my second channel. So this is where all the magic happens and I film all my videos. It's a 400 square foot garage that I remodeled to turn into my studio. I had it drywalled, added electricity, recessed lighting, and I added some sound deadening materials just so that it's not as echoey in here. This table I got from Urban 90. I really liked these restoration hardware desks with the aviation style, but they were all like three to five thousand dollars. But I found that Urban 95 had the exact same desk for under a thousand bucks. I bought two books. These are totally random eBay books that I bought for a dollar each that makes it look like I'm a lot smarter than I really am. And then this dinosaur skull here, this is a replica from uh, Wayfair, and I got it. I thought it looked really cool. I spend way too much time making a video. I would say every video that I make usually takes about eight to 10 hours to produce. And some of that is researching the topic, actually planning out the video, filming the video, and then editing it and trying to piece together a good title and thumbnail. So as far as my equipment, I keep it very simple. I have a Canon 70D with a Sigma 1.8 lens that I use to film most of my videos. And then I have a Canon 80D with just a wide angle kit lens for any wide angle shots I need or if I'm filming out somewhere, I tend to use that camera. For audio, I just use a Comica wireless mic. They ended up giving me that for free to test it out and just review it and uh, it's free and I, I really like it. As far as lighting is concerned, I have an LED ring lights that I use as my main source of light and then I have two LED panels that I use for more like soft lights as well. It might look a little weird to see the towels on my lights but what I found is that these towels work really well for light diffusion so that, that way it's not too harsh on the background. These towels work perfectly for that. So I taught myself everything when it comes to editing. I had no idea what I was doing. So I went on YouTube and I searched like how to edit on iMovie. And even to this day, I'm using iMovie, the free software on my Mac, and uh, that's it. And I figured I would use iMovie just because it was free. Why spend extra money if I didn't have to and it was already there, so you know, why not? I would say my favorite thing about this place is that it really doesn't cost me anything to live here and that gives me a lot of financial peace of mind just knowing that, you know, worst case scenario, if just everything stops entirely, that I will be totally fine here and I don't have to stress about it. Glamour, thanks so much for stopping by and for you watching, if you have not already smashed the like button, make sure to absolutely destroy it for the YouTube algorithm.